If you're talking about our common ancestry with apes, it's very clear by looking at the fossil record we started off here. But that's not really the question I'm asking. I'm asking about our human ancestry, things that we would recognize as being like us if they were sitting here in the room. They were peering over your shoulder. You wouldn't leap back like that. What about our human ancestry? Because if we go far enough back, we share a common ancestry with every living thing on Earth. DNA ties us all together, so we share ancestry with barracuda and bacteria and mushrooms, if you go far enough back, over a billion years. What we're asking about, though, is human ancestry. How do we study that? Well, historically, it has been studied using the science of paleoanthropology, digging things up out of the ground, and largely on the basis of morphology, the way things are shaped, often skull shaped, saying, this looks a little bit more like us than that, so this must be my ancestor. This must be who I'm directly descended from. The field of paleoanthropology, I'll argue, gives us lots of fascinating possibilities about our ancestry, but it doesn't give us the probabilities that we really want as scientists. What do I mean by that? You're looking at a great example here. These are three extinct species of hominid, potential human ancestors, all dug up just west of here in Olduvai Gorge by the Leakey family. And they're all dating to roughly the same time. From left to right, we've got Homo erectus, Homo habilis, and Australopithecus, now called Paranthropus boisei, robust Australopithecine. Three extinct species, same 